Let's start with the present tenses. We have four. The simple present, present progressive, present perfect, and present perfect progressive. We'll look at examples of each tense. We use the simple present for present facts, habits, and states. We have different musical instruments in our home. My husband plays the guitar, I play the accordion, sometimes, and I play on the keyboard. We use the present progressive for actions and progress at the present time. Our son is learning to play the piano. He's making slow but steady progress. The present perfect is used for actions or events that ended in the past but have an effect on the present and that may repeat in the future. The present perfect progressive is used for actions that began in the past and continue up to now. I've been teaching my son to play the keyboard for the past year and a half. My daughter hasn't shown much interest yet, but she's only four. Now let's look at the future tenses. The future with will, the future with be going to, future progressive, future perfect, and future perfect progressive. The future with will is used for future events or actions. Maybe I'll start giving lessons to my daughter in the fall. The future with be going to is used for future plans, predictions, or intentions. One day I'm going to have a real piano. The future progressive is used for actions in progress at a future point in time. Today from about 4 to 4.30 I'll be giving my son a piano lesson. The future perfect is used for future events or actions that will finish before a certain point in time. Maybe by the time we get a real piano, my son will have become so used to playing on the keyboard that playing on a real piano will seem strange. The future perfect progressive is used for expressing how long an action or event will be in progress up to a certain point in time. By October of this year, my son will have been playing the piano for two years. Finally, let's look at the past tenses. The simple past, past progressive, past perfect, and past perfect progressive. The simple past is used for finished actions or events. My family had a beautiful baby grand piano. I was lucky because I learned to play on that piano. The past progressive is used for actions or events in progress at a past point in time. playing a nocturne by Chopin. The past perfect is used for actions or events that took place before a certain past point in time. I had never seen an oud until my brother bought one for my children. 
The past perfect progressive is used for actions or events in progress before a certain past point in time. I had been thinking of ideas for a video when I learned that a friend had invented a one-of-a-kind musical instrument. I just gave you an overview of the verb tenses in English. In the following lessons, we'll review how each tense is formed and how each tense is used. I think you'll also enjoy learning about an interesting and new musical instrument. Music credit goes to my friend Eric Nugent for composing and performing the piece Fender Bender. It was retrieved from his album Birth of the New which is available at www.nununugent.com.